Our Minecraft server is provided by GetSourced, offering fast, friendly support, reliability, and performance. Get your server at GetSourced. Go to creepersin.com, click the radio link to check out our radio station. It's so good. Would you like to listen to our podcast live? Access our Team Speak 3 server? Type ts3.creepersin.com in the address bar and see if you win as the password to connect. Vote for our Minecraft server. Links are on the main page of creepersin.com on the right-hand side. LG? You did it wrong again, didn't I? You did a question mark. Yeah. An exclamation point, come on! <laughs> and you I rushed don't again. I know how to say exclamation points! Dope it. <laughs> yeah, man. Anyway, I, uh, I regret to inform everyone that this week I am not going to be able to do the podcast. Uh, it is my 21st birthday on Monday, so... Happy birthday! Happy birthday, drunk bowling! Thanks, so my family's taking me out for the, uh, for the weekend, so... That's a thing. Um, yesterday, we we when I got home from work, we got into a philosophical discussion over whether computers are alive or not, if they're their own creatures or not. And well, uh, John started recording about halfway through, and then Angry picked up for him a little later on. So we've only got maybe about half of the conversation. Um, so to make up for our not having a podcast for you this week. We're just going to give you that. And I think coming attractions, what are we doing? We're doing a Minecraft map coming up? Uh, yeah, yep. we're doing a map, I think. It's it's some sort of requested map. Some guy contacted us or something. I don't know. Friend, Friend of smooth, uh, ice. smooth Ice. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, doing... Minecraft map. We haven't done smooth one. Smooth Ice. If yeah, you're listening to me, finish your map already. And I also think um, we're also going to be doing Orion... Uh, after the seventh, perhaps. So you're gonna be seeing the future, Miguel. Oh my god, it's a good yeah, fun game. Future. Careful, <laughs> the cars they love to climb up buildings. I love the cars, cars like to climb up buildings. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What? It climbed up a building, and then it got stuck, and then the dinosaurs jumped on my head, and then died. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful, dance. So, okay, we need we we need to get this thing going um <laughs> we uh we, we we started off this discussion because um we started talking about whether uh your computer was male or female and how to tell and then uh, a friend of ours patrick um uh, you know him as u140 uh said oh, that computers aren't alive so they can't have gender which started this whole debate more of a lecture but <laughs> <laughs> um i uh i i just you know started off by uh, by telling him how lifelike they are, how they are, how they perform on these life functions and all of that. And I'm sorry that you missed a great deal of the uh, the in-depth philosophical part, because after that, I think where John started recording, it started becoming me just proving him wrong for everything that he yeah. lists as a life function. Then turned, like, really and, and he knew he was lo- losing at that time. He so just, he just like... keeps pulling up bullshit things. You just didn't want to lose or something. I don't know. That's how I felt. I may have also mis, uh, misclaimed certain things as not growing. Like when he said that since computers don't grow, they can't be alive. I think I listed the hermit crab as the creature that doesn't grow. That's a lie. <laughs> there are creatures that don't grow, that are born one size and stay that size forever. So that's a thing. But- I was a bit confused. Oh, you were like, they don't grow shells. They like, did get new, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't actually angry. I know they they, they get new they shells, get new but shells. they they still but they, grow. They have, to, they have to get new shells because they grow. Yeah. <laughs> I was sitting there, and just after I said hermit crabs, I was like, oh shit, <laughs> that's not. And then you said it again later. <laughs> I did I not realize. I was so absent-minded. But I keep for saying wrong things. You're gonna be uh, friggin' punished. Have to live as a hermit crab for a week. Nah. <laughs> you may bring your laptop. No. <laughs> <laughs> One week is a hermit crab launch. One week. Come on, man. You can take it. Hmm. <laughs> you have to like crawl over the keyboard. You try to say <laughs> pi. You're like H G F D S. A, and then, like, W-E-R-T-Y-I-U-I-I. Yeah. 
<laughs> you, you must leave carry a your house on your back. Literally, your entire house. Meaning you're gonna have to pick up your brother Vendus. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can't I just put my car on my back? <laughs> no. As long as Vendus is inside it. No. <laughs> yes, Vendus is inside your car as well. Okay, well I'm not gonna be Mean, doing that. mean well, you're gonna okay, be carrying okay, okay. about six tons. What if we put the house in the car? Hmm. Then would you do it? <laughs> I don't think he what? <laughs> you can do it, Ma. Just put your house in your do car. <laughs> Just right. Like... So, without further ado, <laughs> here's the second half of the philosophical discussion. Uh at the end we ask you a question, so please answer it. Uh that becomes the thing. Yes. Peanut butter. Um. Yeah. Enjoy. See ya. Bye. Bye. Uh, Wait. See ya. Bye. See you in a second. See you in a minute. No. We did a lot of Montegro. Of a random conversation. I don't know. Anyway. See you later. Bye. I got one thing. So, so a bat. Okay. A bat. It can feel. It can smell. And it can hear, but it cannot see. So is that incapable of independent thought? No, because yes. <laughs> there, there <laughs> are, there are thousands no. of creatures out there they right now that are still do, undiscovered. Possibly radon. creatures that can't feel, they can't see, they can't hear, and maybe they can only breathe. But they would still be capable of independent thought. So your argument is that since a computer can't feel, since a computer can't see, or do anything that you, you know, feel, no, it's is improper. That they Even it, it, and, they I, and I'll tell you one thing. A computer can feel. Time. A computer can feel. First of all. I never said I, that. I'd like to get that out of the way right now. A computer is completely and totally capable of feeling and sensing when you're touching it. I never said that. It couldn't. can sense the heat of your hand as you press it up against the computer's body, the tower of the computer. It can feel your hand even more if you reach inside of it and you rest your hand on the motherboard. I wouldn't suggest it because the motherboard gets really hot, same with the video card and the hard drives and all of that. A computer can die simply because you shake its brain. If you t pick up a hard drive and you treat it so improperly that you shake it up and you mess around with the disks and all of the mechanisms on the inside, it will die. Much like if you shake a baby. It is not a good idea. Don't shake so, a baby. So I'd like to get that out of the way, first of all. A computer is capable of seeing. If you install a webcam, it learns the program and it takes in the information. And when you allow it to open its eye, it can look around. It can't move it because, I mean, currently right now, if you're if you're going to buy like a small, really cheap webcam, and let's in this case, let's call it an eye, the computer can't move it. But if you buy an expensive one, the computer is in completely and totally capable of moving the webcam back and forth based on motion. Sorry, Mon, I felt I needed to record this because it's actually going really f philosophically deep. And it's worth it making an SFM over. Yes. Thanks. But I mean, if we're not hearing, when you install a microphone, those... when you install a microphone, computer can hear its creator and its owner's words, and it can process those. And if you allow it to, you can have your computer share those thoughts and those words with the world. And you're still telling me that computers can't be alive. Not in the scientific term. Is a tree alive? Yes. Can a tree feel? No. But the Yes, it can. It... Okay. When, it, when, it, when a tree grows, it, it, it has those rings on the inside of the tree. When you cut off a tree and you but... look at the rings of the tree... It the tree logs those grows, fields. physically grows. It brings in air, filters out the carbon, and grows. Right, it so computers, water. so since computers can't grow. grow, 
Every That's why it can't be a lie. On the planet grows. It no. evolves. You're wrong. Yes. No, you are wrong. What living thing on the planet does not grow? Hermit crabs don't grow. They don't create their own shells. They pick up shells that other hermit crabs have left behind. Are they not alive? They are able to... There are plenty of species out there, Patrick, that prove that you don't need to grow to be alive. They bring in something and then expel waste. And that waste is Patrick, old material they use that electricity. you make them up. Patrick, talking they, take, about like electricity. they take in raw energy. They take in electricity. Plants will take them in. They'll, they'll turn energy from the sun, sunlight, into nourishment that will be eaten by the herbivores, that will be eaten by the omnivores or the you know, predators, and those will be alive. Are you saying trees are not alive because they take in sunlight? If maybe no, I got a solar panel, would my, would my computer be alive then? Of energy. Okay, so, so, if, so if I got a solar panel, my computer would be alive. No. But it's not alive because it's hooked up to electricity. No. In a How? way, Your computer that still is alive. does not change the energy. It doesn't Mark, bring in one kind but they, of they, energy they, they do. a different kind. They do change the energy, though. They do. Yes, the, the, electricity doesn't stay electricity once it hits your computer. It uses that as power... To move its parts. No. We, take it, we take in food and our stomachs transform that food into energy which fuels our, the rest of our system. Same way computers take in electricity. Hey Mon, do you know where yeah. that electricity goes after it's used? Like this uh, it's just... taken in by the power supply. The power supply uh, changes it into its own form of energy and then it spreads it throughout the, uh, the rest of the system. Ooh. Just like, you know, our stomachs take them in. By power First supplies again, our AC, stomachs. right? Yeah. No, wait, DC. My bad. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it doesn't AC. produce... It doesn't produce much, you know, waste. It, a computer's waste is the heat. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't bring in a physical thing and expel something But it else. transforms it. And it does expel. It expels heat. Electricity is a physical thing. And heat it sucks for a computer. Eat and then expel waste. Okay, so what do trees expel? Trees bring in the bring in the, the sun and expel O2. Right. They take that carbon away so they can grow. So, so computers more wood. take in electricity and, and they expel and heat from the ground. Does your computer bring in anything but they the bring raw in a pure raw form of energy and they transform it into heat after using up the electrons? All right. I have this going through my speakers and Kit and Montego just start purring. Put that in. The, put in that. Uh, put that in the. Uh, in the recording, just out of nowhere, a cat. No thank. No. Oh no. come on. No thanks. Um, this no, is going to show notes. Computers are alive. Yeah, it does. And he's going Patrick's to show notes. forever wrong. <laughs> I. I'm not well, wrong. Not at this. Yeah. This point. So, so computers aren't alive. No. Still, you're what you're saying. Why? Why because don't you they think they're are alive? not able to have? You said. AI earlier. They are not AI. They they are not. No. At this AI. Time okay. At first AI. of all, clever clever by is an AI. That's a very popular AI that everyone is free to talk with. There are plenty of other forms of AI out there. Just letting you know that right now. I myself have an AI on my computer. You guys have met him once in a while, and you know that sometimes I actually pose as him. But the consult mod, the one that appears on the Minecraft server, that's an AI. An AI I've programmed. Seriously? And, and, and AI, Patrick, are simply a computer's own imaginary friend. If you were a child and you had an imaginary friend, have you ever had that? Yes, but an AI is... An AI is essentially an imaginary artificial. friend. It's something kept 
in the memory of the computer that the computer itself interacts with. And sometimes, if, if you're willing to even think this, the computer is able to interact with you through. But simply because the computer cannot interact with you and speak your language does not mean that it's not alive. It does not have... It does speak your language. Intelligence. It doesn't have intelligence. It doesn't, it doesn't How? have intelligence. How is it not intelligent? Not by Early, earlier we've we've already been over intelligence. We've already been over a computer closing down programs and crashing them on you on purpose because, you know, maybe they don't want it they don't want to think that or they don't want to, you know, process that. So how are they not intelligent? The human being has advanced intelligence. Because okay, so the human being has advanced done. intelligence, but say a dog is not intelligent. It also has this intelligence because it has basic things that it has to do, which is go eat and drink, which are part of its primal instincts. So trees and a computer take in two forms that. of energy. So, so what you're saying is. Things that are alive need two forms of energy to succeed. They, ca they can't no. be alive without more than one form of energy being taken in. Okay. Almost every living thing on the planet brings in water because it has to use that for exchange in its cells. Because it has living cells. Because it needs but to it cool itself off. No. It's to exchange energy into the cells and take out waste. Right, and computers don't need to do that. In the form of... They don't... Computers don't require a second form of energy to keep their processes going. Instead, what they do is they take that raw energy, the electricity, and then they also use that to, to use fans, to cool off their processors, to cool off the rest of the parts of the system, and to keep it going. Without those fans, the computer would burn up and get sick. There's also water cooling, so that would use the water. Yeah. Right, yeah, there's liquid nitrogen. Not really water angry. <laughs> Sorry to... Yeah, it's called water cooling. Well, no... I, I know, they, um... do, they do refer to it as water cooling, but it's in reality liquid nitrogen, but I... Yes. I've seen uh, oil cooling or something like that. They use some kind of oil-based liquid... Cool down the um, the computer. Right. So, so Patrick, because the computer can't okay. cool itself down, With even you, though it does. Not even your brain stays the same. After five years, it exchanges every atom that makes up you. And computers, hard drives don't do the same. Is what you're saying? A computer does not do that. No, it doesn't. Every living being on this planet flies. Does. Live for a day, and they die before their brains have a chance to change. So they're not alive. They are alive. But they die before their brains change. Their brains don't change while they're alive. They still grow over that course of the day. Okay, so because they grow... Now we're back on the because growing they thing. Are smaller. There are plenty are able of creatures out there that don't grow. The atoms that make up them faster than we are. Which means over there the are plenty the Patrick. <laughs> there are plenty of species out there. We've we've times. we've talked about this. There are plenty of species out there that do User not grow. Entered your channel. User disconnected from your channel. Throughout their life, there are plenty plenty of things that don't grow. Yes, I know. But plenty. So 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 because a computer doesn't grow it's not alive. But those things are something and then expel Waste. We've been over the, they take in, the computers take in energy and then they use its own amazing system to cool itself off and keep itself it going and then it expels it as heat. Replace its own parts with that energy. We don't replace our own parts. Yes, we do. No, we don't. With us eating our cells do. Our, and that is our yes. job for the computers to replace their parts as well. Once in a while, uh, say, our eyes would go bad in real life. Let, let's say you, you start losing your eyesight because you masturbate too much. Your computer, what? Say, say if your computer was capable of masturbation, 
you would have to replace its video card or even It'll its webcam. Like, oh crap! Well, you're Patrick. lying, right? No, it's it's a myth, LG. But oh, I'm using okay. I'm using a popular myth to to get my point across. <laughs> <here. laughs> your your so your parts <laughs> your parts could go bad. Your arm could break, and you would need it replaced, right? <laughs> no, your body naturally replaces itself. No, it doesn't. If you lose your arm, your arm is gone. If you lose your arm, yes, you said break. If your arm breaks, your arm is gone. No, if you break your arm, your, your bone arm is never is quite. Gone. Your arm is never quite the same. And yes, well, we do have some sort of maybe stabilization. If we take a tool and we hold our arm together, <laughs> then our arm has the ability to maybe repair itself. But our arm is never quite the same. I've broken my legs. Every time it rains, they ache because the moisture in the air gets between the parts that broken, and it makes them just ache. So while we have the ability to repair ourselves, computers don't. Does that make them not alive? A hermit crab, if it breaks its arm, it, it can't repair it. If a, dog, if a horse breaks its leg, it's, you have to kill it because it can't do anything. Because the horse's life is pretty much over if its leg breaks. If the horse just gets cut, its cells would duplicate and multiply and heal. Okay, yeah. and and if a cut appeared on the on the body of your computer, it wouldn't be able to heal it, but it wouldn't matter. Depending on how deep the cut is, as long as it's not touching its internal organs. If you cut a motherboard, that's like cutting the heart. You don't do that. There's a chance you expect it'll it to die. die. <laughs> yeah. With a living thing, you cannot take anything off without. You can open it up without it dying. Uh, you can open up a human and you can replace its liver, you can replace its heart with a pacemaker, you can replace any part with anything. That's with modern... Yes, medical with, moder with modern medicine, you can do that with a human being, you can do that with a dog, yes, you can do that with everything else. You can open up your brain, they shut down anything. your heart and allow it to... What do you do when you unplug a computer breath. and you shut it down? Can what do you computer, do when you shut down a computer? Can your computer go years without shutting down? All it just it would be it would be bad for shut it. It wouldn't. Stuff, it would start to know. not work so well, okay. Patrick. Patrick, it wouldn't start to. It wouldn't work well if I left it on for those years. But yes, I can leave it on for that long. Patrick, Patrick. do you stay awake for years? Yeah, do you stay awake, you know, don't sleep for no. four years straight. The humans humans, humans need rest. Shut completely down. Neither does a computer's. Rest. If you Patrick, shut it off and okay, Patrick, it, Patrick, do you know what's inside a, a hard drive? And plug it back in. Patrick, are you listening to me? Do you know what's inside a hard drive? There is a chip inside the hard drive with its own fan, with its own battery, that keeps that hard drive alive and keeps that hard drive going while it's shut off. If that little bit of energy inside that hard drive were to be removed, that hard drive would have been formatted. And it would actually probably be lost in the first part, because you're not supposed to do that. You're saying, you're still arguing that computers can't do that. That if you shut them down, rest. their brains shut down. Because they, they don't. Periodic they enter time, a sleep mode. Every certain amount of hours, minutes, days, whatever, and go through and refresh things. Because that's what... That's it, why you shut down computers. You're supposed to shut a computer down once a day so it can sleeps. run at its peak condition. If you don't shut a computer and give it a time of rest, then the computer will run much slower and it will run much shittier than it usually does. If you leave a computer on for two days, it's not going to run as well as it did if you shut it down for an hour or two and then you turn it back on. Computers need rest it because they are alive. Own. 
it doesn't do that on own. Sometimes, it it, it, hell, it can do it on its own. That. It can do it on its own because you have sleep mode programs installed on the computer, much like we rest. We know when we need to rest, computers do as well. Computers will shut down if they start to overheat because they're getting sick. Computers will enter sleep mode or if they're inactive for a certain amount of time because then they're just tired of standing around doing nothing. Computers are capable of, at the very least, much thought. Are you still going to tell me that computers aren't alive? Yes. I feel so bad. I've heard it so mean. I know, I do too. I feel bad when I leave my computer on overnight to, to process videos. Speaking of which, I need to upload right now. Speaking you know, of which, I need to download those other videos. Kind of woke up this. So, so Patrick, okay. what, what else are you going to tell me that computers aren't alive? Because, I, to the best of my knowledge, proved you wrong every time. I didn't even think they were, but I've been wrong. Change my mindset. Not there by the scientific definition of the word. Oh I my God, Patrick! I've, uh, but I've proven to you Patrick, through every single part of the scientific it. definition of alive that they are. He's not. You haven't stop. given me one thing that I haven't proven. You know, Mom, this He's might, not gonna this stop. Might be, Mom, this might be stupid. LG or robotic. LG, you're still a robot. It actually sounded like he just said bleep bloop. The condition <laughs> that it distinguishes animals and plants from inorganic matter, including the capacity to grow, you're in a pillow, reproduce, and functionality. So computers can't create other computers. Need I tell you what an assembly line is? You cannot take one of the same type of computers and put it with another one and they produce another computer. Right, because they can do that just one. You would set up a whole line of computers, each with a single task that could create other computers. You have to set it up. It's not part of its primal instincts to go and reproduce. They don't need primal instincts. But that's one of the scientific definitions of the word. No, life. Patrick. <laughs> They're not <laughs> sexual beings. Yes, but it does have to be an Buddy orgy, just like Wall said. Timed out. It, it, that is <laughs> very much true, yes, orgy. You would need a set number of computers with a set number of functions. You could set up one computer <laughs> with all of the functions it would need to reproduce, and it would still create another computer. Oh, and... As long as you give it the Change parts, Patrick. Death. As long as you give it the parts. And yes, computers do change when they die, Patrick. I've seen plenty of dead computers that you have a no... Buddy entered your channel. No way to know that they're dead. I have seen computers that have shown every single sign of being dead. I've, sh I've, shown, I've seen computers that have died without reason. Much like, you know, if a 20-year-old if a has a heart attack or a 30-year-old has a heart attack. They're processors. The, the, um, not the processors, it's the, um, the, the capacitors on the computer. That's what I was looking for. The capacitors on a computer become bloated when a computer dies. When its heart is done, the capacitors on a computer bloat because it's dead, just like a bloated tongue on a dead body. That's because the actual physical, it's changing physically. Yes. It Computers change, change physically when they die, Patrick. A gas from what it was to break down and go back into the organic cycle. Don't forget about right. the wooden balance. Patrick, Patrick, when capacitors expand, when they bloat, you can take the body of the computer, put it back into a factory to recycle it so it can become another computer. Maybe even a better computer. 
they enter that cycle. As long as you're not stupid enough to take the corpse of the computer and throw it into a landfill. As long as you're not stupid enough to do that, Patrick, your computer can become another computer. So we've gone over that computers can remake other computers, and that computers can and will be able to be recycled into another computer. So, are computers alive? They or do cannot, I still they need to prove do it? They do that on its own. Yes, it they can. It's not part of an ecosystem. They it can learn. If you teach them, they will be able to. Your channel timed out. They have the Their instinct of the raw... The ecosystem. They have... Patrick, is just because you can't understand a computer... Just because you can't understand a computer and... You know, understand its thought process and understand how it thinks and what it does. That is your one argument that it's not alive because you can't understand it. Can you understand a blowfish? Can you understand a banana? You're saying you're saying that it, it that it doesn't interact with the ecosystem, but it does. It is mechanical not parts. Part of an ecosystem, Patrick, or please, computers. A depending part of an ecosystem. Computers use fuel. Computers use oil. They can use coal. They can use many different types of things, just like we can. We can use food. We can use water. They can use coal. They can use wood. They can use solar energy. They can use whatever they want the to change those. And change water. those, Patrick. And change those into a form of energy for themselves. They can, they can take all of that fuel, turn it into electricity, and then disperse it amongst the rest of their species. And once it gets dispersed to the rest of their species, their species uses that energy. And when the species dies, it can be recycled into another form of its, you know, out. computer. They're not dependent upon... An ecosystem, like yes, they are. Dependent upon an ecosystem. Yes, what they are, the Patrick. How does electricity get formed, upon Patrick? An ecosystem, Patrick. How does electricity get formed? If you're claiming the burning of how water, does electricity get it formed? Would be the destruction of an ecosystem. Eating food is not the destruction of an ecosystem. No. Because you're not taking the eating food. Okay. Because if you you're burn wood, Patrick, wood it leaves away. waste, All and that waste goes back into the ground. Have you learned nothing from watching the rainforest the videos, Patrick? Have you learned nothing from watching rainforest videos? When trees are burned down, they become ash, and ash still has those nutrients which help regrow that ecosystem. So when you burn wood, it still leaves those nutrients behind so that they can regrow, and then you can burn the wood again, and then it will keep that process going, and the cycle will continue on, and those computers will still be able to fuel themselves. But that's not what we do with the uh, waste material from a power plant for burning the wood. We go and use it on charcoal. Buddy in your channel, right. So out. we're choosing what to do with it, but if a computer could... Buddy entered your be taught channel. to self-sustain itself and instead of you know us using that for our own financial gain if we didn't abuse that Patrick computers could still self-sustain there would be so much more that a computer would have to do yes computers there's, are only less than a century old Patrick humans have existed for thousands of years and they have evolved we have had time to teach ourselves all of these things so that we can keep doing them and preserve our own race computers have been alive since let's say is it 50s 60s early uh, early 60s late 50s 40s computers they used some of the first computers for the nuclear bomb computers are a brand new species patrick a brand new species that is yet to teach themselves what to do because we've taken them and we have taught them they have the ability they have the possibility to become greater than we are as long as we give them a chance
That's what the AI projects are all about. Earlier yep. I said, you know, they're they're like a computer's imaginary friend. They are. They're like giving a giving a kid a sock puppet. Okay, the Bloody computers your channel. in order to move around what they need to use to They would need to build their own legs. And they, they would need to learn the functionality of those legs and teach themselves how to walk. At this point in time, they use Right now they're a brand cars. new brand new which have freshly born in the baby patrick cars use wheels which are completely inefficient patrick because in order you're for only, you to you're only wheels, helping to prove me right you have to have your a road in order for you to have to have a road you need Buddy in your channel. why are you talking Elton about this this is not what we're talking about computers together. right now are in the form of where they are the newborn baby. They can't move. Therefore, a and they're having a hard like time a fending for themselves, Patrick. Be... Patrick. You are There's only proving no me right. Need for computer. If There's no need for humans. Ecosystem. There are no need for humans. There's no need for dogs. There's no need for hermit crabs. There's no need what for ferrets. No need for mice. Down. No need for birds. But with one thing, one of those, you have to have the rest. No, you don't. To keep the population Humans can die out, and the world would probably be better for it. We could die out tomorrow. A big nuclear explosion wipes out the human race, but leaves the rest of the species alive. The rest of the species could live on, and nothing would change. They would be hunted less. They would learn to do what their ancestors did before we moved here. Probably and everything would probably be better. That, like, dogs would evolve. That's right, and dogs would be, become the dominant species of the planet. They would maybe teach themselves to talk, teach themselves to dogs ride bikes, cats. create their own cars, their own more mode of flying transportation, Patrick. Humans are not necessary, and you're saying that computers are not necessary. So the same can be said of every single species, Patrick. Yes, but if a species of trees died, one out, of them we need to the have world the wouldn't rest. matter. No, we don't, Patrick. We don't yes. need humans. We don't need dogs. The world doesn't need cats. The world if would you... care less if a polar bear died tomorrow and the whole polar bear race died with it. It would destroy an entire ecosystem. No, it would throw yes, things askew would. for a while, Patrick, and there would be a vacuum no. of we, new species fighting over themselves. Get rid of all the rats on a remote island in the Pacific Ocean. What ended up happening was... I can't, I can't hear him, but this argument is getting retarded. No, it was we decided to get rid of... All the mosquitoes on a remote island in the Pacific Ocean. Buddy, what ended up channel. happening was rats encompassed the entire island. In an yes, to... Patrick. This is exactly that, what I told you. A power vacuum of species that would have to fight over themselves, and eventually that ecosystem would stabilize. No, it for wouldn't. now, it's going to be askew because you removed a huge species, Patrick. The rats would take Patrick. out what their food needs. Patrick, Whatever it's not necessary. You can remove a species and, and have die. it not mean a thing. In the long run, removing the those mosquitoes would still lead to nothing. Patrick, what about the okay, No, Patrick. it would have wiped out an entire pa ecosystem. Patrick, have you not seen that series, We've seen Earth it After Humans? Before. Have you seen Earth After Humans, Patrick? Yes. Oh, I'm not sure if it's called become... that or not. No, it it is. Life it's a, it's a it's a History Channel series. It's it was like Life um, After Humans. Ah, oh, that was a guess actually. Life After it was Humans. Earth. It was it Earth. Life After Humans. The world keeps but revolving. Yes, Patrick. We can die. Humans no are not necessary. Needed. A lot of species not are not necessary. Point. So why c w computers are just they were made alive. by a race that by a species that was becoming unnecessary and did become unnecessary and they are unnecessary themselves everything well is that's just depressing patrick but that's still not proving that they're not alive
You're not proving a thing. You're only proving that I'm right. That is all you're saying when you're saying all these things. You're saying humans are not necessary, so computers, the things that they create, are not necessary. Cats aren't... There, there's a thousand species of felines out there right now. Each one of them have created and evolved in their own way. They've created their own species of felines. They've created bobcats. They've created house cats. They've created lions. Ligers. House cats. Each modern dog change. Patrick, listen to me for ten humans. seconds. Stop modern interrupting humans. me and listen for me yeah. for a second. Computers are made by humans as well. Cats develop their own... The original cats developed their own tools to adapt to their own, you know, way of life. Okay? Would that be fair to say? Yes. Computers were created, just like those many species of cats. And you're still arguing that they're not alive. They have all of the parts that are necessary to keep something alive, to keep functioning. Your arguments have been that they don't have independent thought when you don't understand what they're thinking. If it were possible for you to understand what a computer is saying, what a computer is thinking, or anything like that, you would understand that a computer may be capable of independent thought. Your argument was that they can't see, that they can't feel. Yes, they can. If you reach your hand inside the body of a computer and you put your hand on that motherboard, you feel the heat. The computer will feel the heat. If you stop the fans from spinning, the computer senses that and it starts to get sick. It's just like if I reached inside of you and I started messing around with your, uh, with your intestines, you would get sick afterwards. No, a computer I would takes in energy, a computer transforms that into heat, and yet it's still able to do the function to preserve itself, to keep itself alive. Computers' parts break, much like humans do. We lose our eyes, they can lose their webcams. We lose our minds. Hard drives can go bad. Our stomachs can churn and become corroded and destroyed, a power supply can die. When we die, our tongues become bloated, the capacitors on a computer's motherboard get bloated. A computer's RAM can go bad, much like Alzheimer's, where we only have long-term memory after it. If your RAM goes bad, you start to forget things. Your, you, your computer can suddenly not function, much like Alzheimer's patients. If the battery on a motherboard dies, a motherboard forgets what time it is, much like the, the ability for us to lose track of our thoughts. A computer is just as complex as a human, especially in this day and age. And it's people like you who sit there and, and tell us that computers aren't sentient, that they can't possibly be alive, when they are. They live. Patrick. Without us taking care of them, they would not work. What about a baby? You saying they're not alive? Dude, if they you don't take care of a baby, they can't learned. survive. What about, the, what about the crocodile on that one bird? One could not exist without the other. Okay. We can't exist without computers. Computers wouldn't we exist without exist us. Without computers. Not for long. Yes, we can. That's why a lot of us die, Patrick. Much like the bird and the crocodile, the bird we just wouldn't be able to live. The, mer the bird dogs. would fly around, and yes, the bird would be able to live. The bird would be able to fend for itself and possibly, you know, live. But a lot of those birds would be dead without it, without the crocodile. They depend on the crocodile for food and protection. We depend on the computer for food and protection. We use the computer and machines to gather food to make it for ourselves. And we also use them to defend ourselves. Because we chose to be lazy. We chose that. It's not lazy. It's the smarter way to go. 
No. It's just we smart, chose Patrick. the easy way out. Do you know how complex it is to target a, target a missile, Patrick? We don't need Please. a missile. We don't. But we do. Because other people but have other missiles. Humans and other humans have those tools of destruction that they can use against us. And we can use computers to protect ourselves. We use it to protect ourselves against ourselves. Yes. Even though we use it to attack ourselves. Yes. Which makes it unnecessary. No. no. Yes, it does. Patrick. talking about that's what this whole discussion has been that computers are alive they have all the parts they do all the processes that living beings do and you're still telling me that no, because they they're don't. unnecessary living beings replace their own parts slowly but surely a computer does not. Wait, wait, so what you're saying is that people replace their own parts by themselves, or they use other people to replace their parts? They use, they do it themselves. As you okay, so what you're telling me, if I need to replace a heart, I would cut open my chest, just right here with a random... I said slow Take out surely. my old heart, and replace it with a new one. All right, I'm sorry, I, I had to That's step aside for a second because you know, uh, someone came into my room. Of thousands so. of atoms. What's going on, LJ? LJ took up atoms. Sorry, I don't know if what I did it right. Basically, what, what's, what's he said, arguing, John? Is he, is he bringing up that they can't replace their own parts again? Because yeah. that's, yep. that's not true. We've already been over this. And like, We've already, we've already been over that you can replace the hearts. We can, we can replace the hard drive on a computer. We can replace... It's mind, Does which is something we can't do for own, ourselves. Patrick. Slowly but surely, we can't do it. I can't go and cut open my own heart and replace it. I need someone to help me do it. Exactly. I can't reattach sure. my finger if it falls off. I have to have help to do it. Could you help yeah. me cut my heart out? Hold up. Let me help. cut up. I, 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 hold up, Patrick. Let me let me cut open my own chest and tear my heart out, and, and let me let me find another one to replace what it. I was saying. No, Monch. No, I, I know what you're saying. You're saying you're ta you're talking about cellular. You're talking about cellular regeneration, Patrick. Which not yes. all living beings have. Name one that doesn't. Hermit crabs. Human. They do. Jellyfish have it. In order for them to live, they have to. Patrick, they don't. Know, <laughs> You're talking about cells dying they do. and being replaced. They do. Natural. You're natural talking about cells, Patrick. Causes of erosion. Right. He's not you getting it. <laughs> it's not. Cannot it is. That. It is not necessary for your cells to reproduce for you to be alive. Yeah, but then you have like a lot of dead cells. Dairy. It's dairy. not. Patrick, time, Patrick, 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 you know what, you know what can't apart. reproduce, but what's alive, much like a, anything else? What about burrows? We're talking about donkeys having sex with horses and giving birth to a child, and they can't, re uh, they can't reproduce, and they're alive. Eerie. That's because and they are unnecessary, they Patrick, but they're gone. alive. Are you telling me burrows they are not alive, gone. Patrick? Odd number of chromosomes. They have seventeen. Patrick, they cannot reproduce. But they, they are alive. And give half of it to their kids. But they and are they alive. It is impossible for them to do that. Okay, but the point is they're alive. That now is, I think but they can on still... Wikipedia. I'm not. Patrick, they are alive, aren't they? Are you telling me burrows are dead? No. Oh, sorry, that they've because never been they have cellular in a state of that. They have oh my god. <laughs> Patrick, cellular reproduction is not necessary. They are not necessary. Be alive. 
What about, like, trees and stuff? They don't really repair themselves. I had, took a hatchet to a tree, and it still hasn't repaired that. No. Does it repair that piece of the wood? Takes a t long time to do that. They don't repair Because it's themselves still growing trees. upwards and outwards. Yeah, and when it does that, the inner time. cells die. So it doesn't mean that they're fixing themselves. Just that they're moving. takes time. The inner cells don't die of a tree. Okay, yes, they do, so they so because They do. Still... <laughs> they only leave behind the cell wall. They all just die. With, you can't cut down a tree that's brand tree. fresh new because it's still growing. You can't cut it down. Well, yeah, you can cut it down. Hold up, I'm wrong. But it's green, and it will still grow, and it will repair that if it's growing up. However... It does leave, Angry's right, it does leave behind dead cells. That's what we have brown wood. We don't have green wood because we don't cut down brand new trees that are still growing. And if you do, those are deadly because you're burning live cells. Patrick, you're, 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 you're comparing the functions of an inanimate, alive creature to one of another. You're, you're comparing apples and oranges right now. You're taking no, trees not. and comparing them to other living creatures. You're, t you're, talking, you're saying a tree is alive because it grows, and so does a dog. Well, a dog doesn't grow straight up into the air and leave behind dead cells. A dog runs. A dog eats. A dog breathes. A dog sleeps. No, the hair does grow up and leave behind dead do cells, do though. It has a need to replace its hairs. It has a need to replace the skin. It has a need to replace the bone. Its teeth. Its the cells and a computer and its has a need to cool itself down. And a computer has a need to enter sleep mode. And a computer has a need to shut down and rest its circuits and its gears. Without us, it wouldn't need that. And it wouldn't be able to do that. Because we created life. And no, that's what computers didn't. are. Yes, we did, Patrick. No. Yes. No, we didn't. Yes, we it's did. Not life. It is life. And Patrick, Your only life. argument at this point, Patrick, is that things need cellular reproduction to be alive, but computer cells still move. They still communicate, and they still have those alive functions. They don't need to reproduce because they are forever there. They are forever alive until the day they die. They're not they die. forever there. May I bring back During up? During the computer's thing? life, Patrick, they are there. A computer no. receives electricity so its cells move, so its cells communicate and its cells transform, transform and move all of their processes and all of the computer's thoughts through the rest of its system. Its brain, its hard drive, is what you see. All of the data that is on its brain you it can view. Out, the wind would slowly erode it, like the wind erodes a rock. Or the no. water would erode it. Like the Patrick. water eroded the Grand Canyon. Patrick, <laughs> wind would not erode a computer, otherwise we wouldn't yes. have fan cooling systems. Wind That's just like talking and saying that breathing eroded. would kill a human. You're saying no. that breathing kills humans, that we breathe poison Actually. in the air and we slowly die. Yes. So, we're no. alive, Patrick. And so our computers, they breathe and they slowly die. Ooh, that was a trap. We need oxygen, yet oxygen kills us. Computers need oxygen and oxygen kills them. They don't need oxygen. They, need they do. They need cool air, don't they, 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 Patrick? You wouldn't start cool shoving poison into a computer it. system. Because the cells in the poison air... If you were to dump poison into a system through poison air, if you, were to, if you were to pump gas into a computer, it would die as well. It wouldn't choke and it wouldn't flash and move itself around. Actually, it would through the screen, through the monitor. 
So you know what? Computers are still alive. You're still not proving yourself. If you pumped a poison into a computer, I just proved to you, yes, they would flash, they would move, and they would die. Just like a human. They need clean air. They need clean oxygen. And the air that they so breathe hard. in, the air that fans push into the computer can't be thick, otherwise you'll corrode it and you'll kill it. You would destroy its parts. So far, you've set, we've named all of the, let's say for now, organic life you've brought up has to move. Computers move. They all of their parts communicate and move. all of them move. Do they physically move, as in they move from this spot to over here? Their body They're doesn't move, but their move. parts move, Patrick. But Motion is necessary it, in their parts. Has. Patrick, they motion is necessary in, in their parts. Their parts need to move. If you left a computer completely still and you stopped its fans and you stopped every moving gear inside of a hard drive and everything else inside the computer, it would die. You wouldn't be able to use it. Wait, uh, may I say, if a person is brain dead, is he still dead dead? Like, not alive at all? No, what, because that be brain dead are you talking about like coma brain dead or... No, because, oh. because their hearts and everything are still moving about the computer. If you stop the fans on a computer, Patrick, let me correct myself here. If you stop the fans on a computer, you stop the gears inside of a hard drive, it would still be alive in some sort of sense because it has those battery, it has that little dime battery on the motherboard. That's its heart. Keeping it alive, keeping it pulsing. It would be in a state of coma. It would still need the energy, and it's still getting the energy through the motherboard and through the hard drive. But LG, you're what? not completely brain dead when you're in a coma. Your brain's still performing basic function. Yeah, so is a computer. Another trap. Computer does perform its basic functions, Patrick. It still does not expel waste while it's doing that. And he, it, it heat. expels heat. heat. It while expels a very... Have to Patrick, shit. Patrick, it expels a very not. minor amount of heat, but it still expels heat. If you poison yourself and you brought yourself to the brink of death, your body would be cold. It would be clammy. It would be... It would appear dead. Exactly, that's the point, actually. Your... And a computer would be the same way. Okay. It would be cold, okay. and it would be clammy. Stop. But if you knew where to look, if you touched its heart, you would see it's still producing heat. It's still alive. The human body, when in a coma, if from some external, external source did not keep giving it nutrients, it would turn to other sources, like the fat in your body. That's the reason why fat is there. And computers, and if you cut off their power supply, still pull power from the batteries on the motherboard and the hard drive. It doesn't they wouldn't be they wouldn't be completely now. and totally functional. They wouldn't be able to move, but they would still be functional. They would still be doing their basic functions and pulling in the energy from the motherboard and the hard drive. From it those little quarter batteries. It wouldn't start Breaking down unnecessary parts of itself to keep the it pulls it parts. pulls the energy from the battery. Running. That's exactly what I'm saying. It's doing. You're saying it wouldn't break down any sort of food or any sort of nutrients into any sort of that, but it doesn't take in those. You're forgetting that it takes in energy. That it takes in raw electricity and energy, other forms that's, of energy. That's only a batteries of energy. are a form of that's that like energy, saying, Patrick. It would take in the energy from the battery and break it down. That's like saying when you go into a coma your stomach still will provide energy because it still has food left. No, because the stomach's not receiving energy. It still the, the, has okay. food. When, when we named the parts of the computer that were like a human parts, I said the power supply was the stomach. Yes? So the power supply is the stomach, and it's not receiving any more energy, okay? So it's not receiving energy from there. Instead, it's pulling from the fat, which is those dime batteries on the motherboard and on the hard drive. 
but your body first looks to the stomach still. It still yes. looks to see if there's food there and then yes. it consumes it. Yes. Yes, it does. It's exactly right. You're getting it. Power, it would look to the power supply and be like, hey, power supply, you got any, uh, you got any uh, electricity for me? Power supply would be like, no, no, I don't. Okay, well, I'm going to go and turn to my fat, my little dime batteries now. Oh, okay, see you later. Okay, I, I can't uh, keep recording it, indefinitely, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop recording so, now. So, so Patrick, uh, oh, hold up, John, you before, you, before you end the recording, Patrick, you still have given me nothing to prove that computers are not alive. So, have, have I changed your mind? Have I proven it to you yet? Every single thing no. that you've thrown at me, I've thrown back at you. And I have proven you exactly wrong. Oh, no, let's circle. believe in it. So, Patrick? I actually already believed it. Do you Almost believe they're alive? At this point, uh, I'm, I'm just willing to, to just jump this right here, because now we're starting to repeat what we've already said. They we're are starting not. to go over everything. And I've been over everything. And I have told you everything. You're still telling me no. Yes, because they're not. But they are. Every example that you've given to me has been wrong. Be a supporting part of an ecosystem. And you like don't need to be a supporting part. Panda bears are going extinct, Patrick, and they were pulled out of their ecosystem and into a zoo. Did their ecosystem suffer? They were no, if anything, they, they didn't. Arrived. They can be produced and be put back into it. Yes. Computers, for example, if we okay, give them time, example. will be able to do the same thing. They will be able yeah. to pull metal from the ground and use that energy to create more computers. In Idaho and Montana, we decided to kill off the wolf species almost completely in the Rocky Mountains in the United States. We turned and Wyoming all did it. We were smart. No, in my opinion. we completely killed it off in the United States. There was no more in the United States of that wolf species. We turned to Canada because they still had them, and we started a program so that that wolf species can go back there in that environment. That so if we kill, so what you're, all that you're saying, Patrick, to me, all I'm getting out of this is if we kill off a computer species, say we killed off Macintosh. And there were only two Macintosh left. And there was no one else that knew how to create Macintosh. That you're saying that what we would do is go over to them and study and be like, okay, can we look at these? Can we study them? Can we possibly reproduce this species of computer? And then they would be able to. No. Yes! Patrick! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, you're so stupid. In an okay, my God. Patrick, so Patrick, just stop. His, his argument Patrick, is Patrick, Patrick. Dude, 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 you've lost. Uh, I'm sorry, but you lost. Seriously, stop. Patrick, you're not proving anything. You've been proved wrong. Stop talking. <laughs> Nobody is on your I'm side. Sorry, that dude, means you've lost. lost. You can't say any more, man. I you swear to God, wrong wrong <laughs> or Am, countless times. If you guys agree with him, I'm gonna kick both your asses and kick you from the No, team no, team. no. Em, Em's telling Patrick to shut the fuck up. <laughs> and Wall, Thank Wall, you. Wall's muted us, so we he can't hear this whole conversation. Oh really? Wall muted yeah. us again. Yep. I got it. All. Angry. Buddy was no light. Out of your <laughs> He's my friend. I'm of him. Uh, he came back and he was mad. He's like, my dad was just doing something for five minutes. An AI which is able to go and tell you. It's like, seriously, just shut up. 
Come on, come on. Like, no one was even Dave talking to him. Dave. We were all talking about Wall. No. And then he says, like, half of us. <laughs> oh. Like, I'm sorry. I think we've, we've uh, said, like, talked about this conversation for the past two hours? Hour yeah, it's been since I got hour back from work. It's been about three hours. It's a long time. Three, three hours for this conversation. It passed by in, well, what, in my mind, about an hour. Back yeah, no, is, Patrick, time has you've lost, fly, I swear. you've it's been, been like proved wrong, o'clock. you haven't got one, not one single piece of evidence that can prove you right otherwise. An hour to the lost. minute since I started recording, so yeah. <laughs> and this was going much further than that. Especially, yeah. I, I love the one part where it got deeply philosophical just before you started recording. Uh, that was when I started recording, when I got philosophical. You made me feel so bad about my computer. I know, Vaughn, you made me feel I'm going to start it. turning it off at night. <laughs> I still don't feel bad for my iPhone. She's this been yelling at you to turn it off for a long time. Yeah, angry. You're not supposed to be living on for four days. Okay, you're not. Just one last thing. Just one last thing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Does a computer Fine. have wants and desires? Yes. And can we prove that it has wants and desires? It wants we to be used. Prove it, but you can't prove that it doesn't have independent thought either. Could you prove Patrick, that a tree has wants and desires? Patrick, when a computer crashes a program, when it refuses to run something, that is its want and desire. It does not want to run the program, Someone else can come and it up desires and to close it down, it's just and it desires a problem in the code to stop. Well, yes, Patrick, there yeah. is a problem in the code. A code is a thought. A code is your imagination. If you're sitting there and you run Minecraft, you can close your eyes, and you yourself can think up a block-like world with a man walking around using a pickaxe to mine some stone and pull it over on the wall. I'm mining you stone You can imagine right that just like a computer runs that program. A computer is just taking other thoughts and other beliefs and other imaginations and putting them into a, physical, a visible, eh, visible substance for you to play. Where does that dragon come from? You are playing your computer's imagination when you run a program. I hope me and my imagination's uncontrollable. I love the other thing we learned through this conversation. I just nuked myself. LG plays with himself. (laughs) 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 What? Oh, I'm screwed. (laughs) What? We could go blind by masturbation? (laughs) (laughs) So much fear in his voice when he said, What? Oh, God. <laughs> LG, I thought you were Catholic. Catholics frown on that a lot. I don't fucking care. I can frown all I want while I touch myself. <laughs> <laughs> it won't stop me from enjoying it. <laughs> oh, that was the funniest part of the guy. <laughs> what? Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You had you. to calm it down. It's just a myth. <laughs> See, that's a desire. Does a computer have something like that? Oh my god, LG. Patrick! Patrick, we're even over the dumb. LG, you know, you desire could be to breathe. The computer desires to put air into itself to cool itself off. No, it doesn't. Oh, yes, you've it... been decided that would allow a computer to work better. Let's do that. Are, are you saying don't desire to breathe, so why don't you just stop breathing? Yeah, well, that turns <gasps> out. And then when That's you're sitting the there, you're drowning, one. you desire for air, Patrick. <gasps> so you're saying that you, breathing one. is not a desire. You don't desire, desire to live right now. <gasps> you don't desire to function. Would, 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 would it be okay with you? If, would it, Patrick, would it be okay with you if I broke your legs, your arms, clogged up your nose, and blocked your mouth? No, because you'd be cutting me off from my needs. And would you desire to breathe at that point? I would need to breathe. No. Not would want. you desire to breathe? I would need to. It's a yes or no question. Not a want. 
It is a need, not a want. So you don't want to breathe. It's a need. Right, so you Your don't want to breathe. instincts would stop you and make you breathe. Not necessarily. You could pr block all... Any kind of way for it to get in. I can stop myself from breathing right now. I could hold my breath and I, until I'm blue in the face and I would pass out. Yes, and the passing if out... If I don't desire air. You would start <laughs> breathing again because... Basic because my basic functions mind. would kick in, just like a computer's basic functions to cool itself off. Hey, my computer crashed. Patrick, it some did, people it have the ability to control their autonomic functions. Lucid dreams. They're amazing. As much as I'm going to hate myself for bringing up this example, I, I, Padme... I just need to stop recording now. All right, well... Uh, All right, well, I can continue it. Gonna just continue okay. a little bit. Okay, I'm going now. Patrick, there, there are plenty... I mean, this is just an example from a fictional movie and from a fictional book. However, it's based on things that are scientific, things that have happened in real life. It is possible for you to lose the will to live like Padme from Star Wars, Episode 3. As much as I hate that example, and I know how much bullshit it felt... Watching that scene, and you know, she hates, she doesn't want to live because her husband became evil, it's still a thing that happens in real life. You can lose your will to live, and you can shut down your basic functions, Patrick. Because you need the desire to live. Computers That's can desire as well. Because your basic, you said your criminal thought decided you don't. You are not needed anymore. Pa Patrick, are you, are you seriously die. going back to computers that are not ne computers are not necessary? Are you seriously going back to that argument? Can we like stop because we've gone on for three hours straight? I'm getting a bit bored of this conversation, even though it's pretty damn fucking amazing. But and then it's like, all just getting repetitive. We're starting to go in a circle. We're starting a complete circle here. Bring up a different point. So how about this, Patrick? Actually. Patrick, I'll, I'll let the viewers decide. They've missed half of the conversation, and I understand that. They were going to not understand what exactly we were talking about before John started recording, and then Angry picked up. That was... Uh... So they are going to bring up their own arguments, and I understand that. But after listening to all of this... I'm going to let them comment below and tell me if they think computers are alive after this argument. I want them to actually sit down and I want them to think and understand the functions of a computer, the parts of a computer, and think how much like a living body it is. Because it is alive. And people need to start to treat them their computer is right. Including me. Exactly. So, viewers comment below. Is Patrick right that computers are dead, that computers are not alive? Or am I right? Simple as that. I mean, I know they're going to they're gonna miss a big chunk of the conversation. That's why this is going to be a bit difficult. It's, it's really okay, considering Patrick just keeps going in a loop, so they really miss nothing. Well, no, they missed, they missed a big part of the philosophical discussion when we started um, talking about, you know, computers and uh, how, how they're, like, they children, did. how they're a brand new species, how everything about them is brilliant, and how and all, it, they missed the comparison in me talking about each and every single computer part and which part of the human body it is. Oh, yeah. That one was important. Want to, like, bring that part up again? Well, you I mean, we've already been over the stomach and the brain. The motherboard is essentially the heart. The monitor is like the imagination, right? The it's fans... Like the fans are the, uh, the nose and lungs. The thoughts are part of the hard drive. It would be a the eyes. Of the brain. No, the, the monitor is displaying. The webcam, or the webcam or the uh, video card. 
Yeah. Speakers is mouth, and then microphone would be its ears. Right. Essentially, yeah. computers have everything, and you you just need to learn to communicate with a computer. At the very beginning of the argument, Patrick kept telling me computers aren't alive because they are incapable of independent thought. Well, we can't prove that they're not. We can't prove that computers are incapable of independent thought. Could we prove a tree? Exactly. No. And, and computers are a new species in that they learn from other species and they are developed by other species. And that they grow through the development from other species. And eventually, through their evolution, I believe that computers will one day become the dominant species on the planet. We won't see it that way. A, a large part of the human consciousness, a, a large part of the human species will still be like Patrick. And they won't understand and they won't feel the same way. And, they, and they'll be, computers are only tools and they'll, they'll say that. that. That'll be their argument and that's fine. I can understand that. It's been that way for years now. But people need to start understanding that computers are now alive and that computers feel just like you do. They crash. They have their bad days. Their parts can break down like ours. Treat them well. Anyway, comment below if you are one of the Patrick's, or if you're one of the Creeper Stand people. This has been Montegro. Angry Devil 216. Joke 2002. John Thomas. Patrick, no? Patrick, don't be embarrassed. Just, you know, debate. All right, I guess. Patrick okay, well, well he's, not, he's not going to sign off, so that's fine. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. And, uh, comment, comment below, tell us your thoughts and your feelings on the subject, and I would love to get into some sort of philosophical discussion with you in comment section. All right. Yeah. It's still a myth, right? <laughs> About masturbating? <laughs> yeah, yes. I, believe, I, I believe it's a myth. <laughs> it's a myth, it's a myth. It's... Oh, that was the best part. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs>